We're rolling. We're rolling, YouTube family. All right, time to get down to some business with this cross training. I've been going pretty hard the last week, but now it's like, listen, Cleveland is not off the table yet, all right? I, I just don't know. We will, I'm just being patient, listening to the body. I, I'm not calling it yet, all right? And I, okay, I've got a couple updates for you. Basically, the foot is feeling okay is the category I'm putting it in. Now, I'm not testing it, obviously. You don't wanna test your foot or any injury when you're healing because that can slow down the healing process or even, uh, frankly, even re-injure it if you're testing it too much. So I'm flexing my foot just to, just a smidge, like especially in the morning when I'm waking up. And anyway, it feels better than a week ago. I will say that much. Uh, so this is good news. And I'm also listening to your comments about the MRI. I just wanna update you that uh, basically, I would love to get an MRI at the drop of a hat, but it does, it's not covered by our insurance, and that's why I have not gotten one. And out of pocket, you're looking at $600 to $2,000, And but it's amazing. Somebody here in Denver um, watched the vlog about a week ago and said, hey, I'm getting trained in MRI work and taking MRIs for people. I might be able to ask my boss. I am. He said, I am going to ask my boss boss and see if I can basically do an MRI on you for free as part of my training in the MRI field, if you will. So that is exciting. I might be able to get an MRI this week for free. We shall see. It's amazing. And I'm just remaining grateful and patient with the whole situation. But the bottom line is it's feeling a little bit, it's feeling better. I don't know how much better, I don't know, but it's feeling better. All right, cross training day, time to go get some pain. All right, go into the pain locker. See you inside. Warm up. Oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts so bad. I want to run you through cross training. Okay, how did it go today? It was ama it was overall amazing, I would say. I learned I'm continuing to learn what what makes me work and what doesn't make me work. 
Uh, first of all, started off with stretching, and the podiatrist did challenge me, and there's a lot of folks out there suffering right now from plantar fasciitis, and it's rough. It's really rough. I had surgery in college on my PF, uh, but in retrospect, I'm just wondering if I could have stretched my way out of it slowly, like just continuing to be as consistent as possible with stretching. Well, this machine that you see me on right now on the screen, uh, a lot of gyms don't have this machine, but it is kicking my butt. It hurts really bad, but I love it. I love it so bad. I basically do like 10 minutes on the machine. It, 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 it gets your hamstrings. It gets everything. It gets your, uh, a little bit, I guess, in your calf, but it gets your, glute, your glutes, your hamstrings, your upper hamstrings. And I think for my PF, I probably should have been more aggressive in college with this stretching machine. So anyway, I'm really dedicating a lot of time to getting more flexible, more loose through my entire kinetic chain, hope, hoping that I can stay healthy moving forward. And that's what the podiatrist wants me to focus on moving forward. All right, so first stretching, then a little bit of upper body. I'm struggling to figure out how to do a lot of upper, like I don't wanna get strong and like too big and bulky during this time when I'm not running, but I also wanna, anyway, I, when you see me swinging my arms like that, by the way, I'm not trying to work my biceps. Like I don't wanna be big uh, in the biceps, but I do wanna work on my arm carry so that when basically when my legs are tired late in a race I want to make sure my arms keep me moving forward uh, yeah so anyway that's just been my strategy for a long time and when I'm looking in the mirror doing the exercise in the gym I'm focusing on the form as well so that I'm nice and straightforward I'm not crossing the body too much like a little bit of cross is okay everybody will have a little bit um, anyway so that's what I'm doing with the dumbbells there and then to the core work, I am already feeling quite a bit stronger in my lower back, especially uh, just doing those supermans. I've been doing them now for, I don't know, consistently now, you know, in the gym for probably two months. And I'm really feeling like I just have some better posture when I'm just moving around all in all. So anyway, really focusing on the core and then to the stationary bike, uh, an, two hours, I almost said an hour, two hours on the stationary bike today. Um, I try. I posted it on, posted it on Strava, and I have no clue what a good uh, watts is on a bike. I have no clue like what RPMs I should stick to. Basically, I don't make it as hard as possible because I want to keep my legs moving. But it, it's it was good. It was two hour, a little over two hours, and made it like 39 miles. So. Anyway, I, in the last 30 minutes, I really focused on hitting it hard. And you saw me there sweating at the end. I feel like I got a good, solid aerobic stimulus. I didn't go anaerobic, that's for sure, but I, a good aerobic stimulus kind of felt like a, a long run. Right now, my legs do feel a little tired, so that's a good news. And then jumped in the pool for a half hour aqua jog. And again, figuring out what makes that hard and what makes it easy. So today I was doing a little bit of fart lick work, not much, but a little bit, uh, like two minutes on, three minutes off, three minutes on, two minutes off, kind of changing it up in the aqua jogging. And then 30 minutes of pool, uh, swimming back and forth, back and forth. Uh, somebody in the sauna asked me, so how far did you go? And I was like, I have no clue, no clue. I mean, it's like, I guess you got to count your laps and then multiply it by the length of the pool. So who knows? Like that just, that's just too much for me. I can't, I can't count laps when I'm swimming. I'm like focused on making sure I stay afloat and not drowning, if you know what I mean. So it was a good day in the uh, cross training regimen and we'll go back tomorrow and the next day and the next day and just see about the possible MRI. Uh, True Love and I at uh, date night tonight, we were just kind of working through the different scenarios. If it is a stress fracture, if it's not a stress fracture, and like it, it does impact a lot of different things with respect to travel plans for the family and all sorts of stuff. So um, I'll keep you posted on whether or not that obviously I will film the entire experience and get it uh, get it up on YouTube for all of you. And one last point on the cross training, I used the spin bike instead of the life fitness bike. Wow, huge difference. And it didn't hurt my foot at all, just so you know, but that spin bike is like, I was really, I felt like I was really working good. So if you have access to a spin bike, like they, I could tell it's probably pretty pricey uh, stationary bike. So anyway, that was good to discover the spin bike through this whole process. And one last time, Wednesday, May 8th, 7 p.m. Mountain Time will be the next running shoe giveaway here in the studio. We've got a lot of shoes. Last time we did 10 shoes. I'm thinking we'll do at least 
12 shoes this next time, maybe even more. We'll see how it gets a little long at times. So, and we're going to, we have come up, well, we're working on coming up with a new way for you to basically enter. So it's more, uh, it's a lot, it'll be a lot faster a week from now. Uh, yeah, we're just working on a better system for you to enter your name and stay tuned for updates on that as well next week. And the question of the day, I'm not exactly sure why I came up with this question of the day. Um, I was thinking maybe I'd ask about cross training, but we already covered that maybe three or four days ago. So instead, this is kind of totally something in, yeah, I think it's probably from the London Marathon. So here it is. How, what is your favorite source for running related news and why? Whether it's online, whether it's prints, whether it's, I don't know, I, it could be anything. Who knows? Wherever you get your running news, and it could be like a little a little running club newsletter, whatever it might be, let us know where you get your running news down in the comments and why, why you like that source. For me, frankly, I know it's a little weird, but I probably just get most of it through Twitter. I know it's, it's weird, but I've gotten pretty good at honing in on accounts that I trust to follow in the running news world. So anyway, I just scroll through Twitter, kind of just check in. I don't dive too much into running news. I know you can, you can kind of get dragged down into it too much sometimes, in my humble opinion, but if you have a good source for running news, let me know. That'd be awesome. And that is today's vlog. Thanks for being here. We're just fighting. Like, thanks for sticking with the channel through this cross training. I know I can't go film great shots for you right now, but that will be returning, I believe, sooner rather than later. So seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow. We'll be back. We'll be back. You better believe it. All right.